Hey everyone, it's Monkazonki, and welcome to Road to Maxcape episode 19. Uh, I know I just uploaded a Road to Maxcape video not too long ago, but it turns out that I've got quite a few clips since then. I've got some really cool levels, and I have some stuff to show you guys. Uh, first of all, I came down here because I'm like, surely I have 100% respect in the workshop here so I can get the Royal Cannon, and it turns out I only had 98%, so obviously Jags was being a troll. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is actually go and embark on a farm run. I have been planting Torstals, and uh, we'll go check that out real fast. I started planting Torstals because I heard they were pretty good money, so um, so far this is what I've got from 50 Torstal seeds. 50 Torstal seeds is about uh, 5 mil, and this is the rewards from it. I got 10 mil, so it pretty much doubled my money planting Torstals, so that's not too bad. Uh, Torstals are going up as well. Um, when I first bought the seeds, Torstals were 17k each, and now they're nearly 19k each. So that's good news, they're going up. Uh, I've been hearing that Jagex is going to buff overloads pretty soon, make them a little more useful, so I'm excited for that because these babies are probably going to keep going up and keep rising, which means Torstal seeds will go up as well, but uh, that's all well and good. Anyway, one thing I really wanted to say is at the end of the video, I have a kind of important message for anyone that's in either wants to take part or is already taking part in the race to Max Cape. As I've shown in all my previous videos, it's getting pretty big and I've have I've had a lot of people actually want to participate in that. So if you are participating currently in the race to Max Cape or are going to, it's pretty important that you possibly just pay attention during the end of the video and uh, yeah, I'll let you know what's up. But for now, we're going to embark into the level up clips and I'll commentate over those. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of the episode and farewell for now. And so now is the time part of the video when we get into the clips. Uh, the first one, I mended a burst pipe in the artisan's workshop and it turns out I was actually really close to a smithing level. So I in fact got level 95 in smithing which is pretty cool, a bit of a milestone there. Can now open sated effigies, uh, if effigies existed anymore in this game, which unfortunately they don't. And uh, here we go into the construction clips and this was pretty exciting because I actually did end up getting a 99. Uh, very soon, which you'll see uh, shortly, but this was 98 construction, uh, just building some mahogany tables there, very fast XP. They turned it out, to, they turned out to be, I think, around 600k XP an hour or something, so it was awesome. Got from 98 to 99 in only about two hours. Well, a little more because I was slacking and people kept PMing me and I had to respond and you know how it goes. It's really hard to PM people back when you're training construction, but I managed it somehow. So there I am using up the last of my mahogany planks and we get 99 construction, which was, um, you know, somewhat of an achievement. Finally have that Bible out of the way, which is nice because that means I only have one more Bible to go until well, all the Bibles are done, which is just, it's nice because I no longer have to worry about money, and that's something that I really don't like to worry about. I don't like having to worry about money. Um, and here, I was doing the large floor. I believe this was just on World 77. Uh, I was doing some floors with subscribers as well, people in my friend's chat, um, just whoever was in there and wanted a DG. I did a few occults with uh, people as well, but there I got level uh, 98 DG, and here, this is the big one. I think you can all guess exactly what happens here. I buy some Dungeoneering experience, about 2k of it, it looks like, and we get the 99 Dungeoneering. Uh, that was a pretty big achievement. Dungeoneering was probably, I'm not going to lie, other than the Slayer, my most enjoyable 99 to get, and I wasn't expecting it because I put off Dungeoneering for so long because I thought it was going to be awful, and it turned out to be actually a really fun skill. So I got 99 there, and uh, it doesn't end there, that's all I'll say. Unfortunately, this is not a Dungeoneering level, but just while I was resetting, because I always do C2 fishing while I reset my Dungeoneering floors, I got 94 fishing, which is nice. Uh, fishing is a kind of slow skill, so every time you get a level in that, very, very helpful. And uh, as I said, that 99 Dungeoneering was in fact not the last Dungeoneering clip in this uh, episode. So here I got 100 Dungeoneering, which was really cool because it's just, it's cool to have a skill over 100, I think. So 100 DG, huge accomplishment, I think. Um, might get 101 DG soon. Uh, I really want to work on skilling as well, but uh, Dungeoneering is pretty fun. So I allowed myself to DG pretty much all day, even though I really should have been working on other skills. And then late that night, I was pretty close to a smithing level, so I 
did a bit of smithing here just at the artisan's workshop as always AFKing it up and uh, I get 96 smithing in just a second here and that was really nice so um, now we move into the part of the video with the race to Mac cl max cape clips so yeah time for that and now we get into showing people's stats and levels and all. Again, I hope that uh, you can somewhat read it. I know the screen is quite a bit panned out and the numbers are going to be kind of small, but if you're interested in anyone else's stats, you can always look them up yourself if it tickles your fancy. And uh, anyhow, I had something pretty important to talk about, and that was um, I was thinking of making the Race to Max Cape a separate series. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. First of all... Um, the Road to Max Cape videos are starting to get pretty long, especially because we have 28 submissions now for the Race to Max Cape, including myself, and that is going to grow in time. So I really don't want to make the Road to Max Cape videos like 15 minutes long or something like that, because I just I feel that's really too long, and people, for the most part, don't enjoy watching long videos. And uh, I was thinking of making a separate series, so I need your guys' feedback on that. Uh, if you'd be interested in watching the Race to Max Cape just by itself without the, any of the Road to Max Cape stuff included in it, uh, feel free to tell me if you think that's a good idea, if you think that's a terrible idea, if you think that I should just... It's such a bad idea that I should never think of ideas again because of how terrible it was. Uh, you can tell me that. But uh, if I did make the Race to Max Cape a separate series, I would need your guys' help. What I would want... Um, for anyone that's participating, if you get like a 99 or you get a skill that's really important to you or you get a milestone like 80 plus all stats, for example, just throwing that out there, or even if you get a nice drop from a boss, um, I could take screenshots or video clips uh, for, from anyone participating and they could send those in and I would add them to be part of the video. Uh, part of the Race to Max Cape series itself. This is just uh, theoretically if I do decide to make that a separate series. really just depends on how many people would be interested in that. So um, if you think that's a good idea, feel free to let me know. But I would need people's help to send in uh, either clips or screenshots of achievements that they have accomplished in uh, RuneScape because it would be a bit too boring just looking at stats for an entire episode. So, with that being said, there is now 28 people, and that's insane. Uh, as always, if you want to join the Road to Backscape, just leave your RuneScape username down in the comments, and I will add you in. It's awesome just how many people have, in, have been joined, have uh, wanted to join this. I think it's really good just for... On a community involvement standpoint, it really gets a lot of people involved, and hopefully... Uh, there will be a few people that are a little bit competitive that might take this as a small incentive to want to start skilling. I've had a couple people tell me every single time they watch one of my Road to Max Cape videos, they really want to start skilling, and personally, I think that's a good thing, but, um, anyways, I am yet again not number one. I had someone, uh, submit their RuneScape name who, uh, is only three levels off the Max Cape, so congrats to you, R. Saunders? Sanders? I think it's Saunders. Anyway, congrats to you, and just remember, once you get that max cape, you will no longer be in this series. But anyway, it's time to get into the full standings now so you can see where you compare along with the other participants in this series. So these are the full standings. I decided to split it into two pages so it wouldn't get too crowded. But as I said, 28 submissions, pretty awesome. Um, one thing that I did want to say also is... Continuing on with the uh, hypothetically could make this into a possible series all by itself, not included in the Road to Max Cape, is uh, if I did that, I could also have like um, some records, like whoever got the most levels in one episode or something like that, something along the lines with that. Uh, also, like sort of a Hall of Fame for everyone who does reach the Max Cape and. Uh, the listings and like who reached the max cape first and that sort of thing and just uh, if you have any other suggestions of ways that I could possibly make a series like that and make it really cool uh, feel free to tell me and I could definitely consider those so all in all here's the top five as I said no longer number one but uh, luckily it looks like R. Sanders Saunders is going to get uh, his max cape pretty soon so uh, yeah good luck with that uh, getting your max cape and hopefully I can get mine fairly soon as well. I'm definitely working in that direction. So thanks for watching this episode everyone. Uh, feel free to join my friends chat in game at Munkle's Unky if you ever want to talk to me. And that's about all. Uh, stay tuned for next episode which should be coming out in a few days or so. And yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Farewell.